According to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 to 2, which says that there is a time for everything and the season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot. Consequently, Papa had his entry to this world on September 15, 1915 and had his exit on December 27, 2013 after 98 and a half years and 12 days on this terrestrial plane. Late Papa Samuel Adedebigbe Omotosho Aremu Awumo Lo was born to the family of Late Pa David Aino Fajobi Awumo Lo of Ili Olumo Ibajo Oshun State and Mama Tinubu Awumo Lo of Ili Olobe Ibajo and Igede Kiti Extraction. Papa was the first born of his parents and was followed by many brothers and sisters. He is survived by three of them. Mama Biala Falulu, Dr. Ademola Awumo Olo and Mrs. Femi Akogun Omo Ibesi. Papa started his primary education at the Baptist Primary School Iresi, Ocean State, as a member of the famous Reverend Moses Faleye Awumo Olo's boarding school, where discipline was very strict. Papa was the last man standing before his demise. Others at the school, like Papa Awukwe, Pa Uyelami, Pa Umikunle, and so on, having passed on before him. After his primary education, Papa went to live with his uncle, late Papa Daniel Omotara Umolo at Abeokuta, where he enrolled for apprenticeship as an electrician and within three months, Papa had mastered all he needed to know and started practicing as an electrician. He later moved to Lagos and after staying briefly, he went to Cameroon. There he worked as a road mender and was highly respected as his portion of construction roads were the best. While he was in Cameroon, he joined the Nigerian Army Engineering Corps and was there for one year and 29 days. According to him, he believed his mother used a means to pull him out of the army as most parents were not too pleased with their children joining the army then. He was discharged from the army on May 22, 1945. While in the army, Papa was upright and diligent. This made the authorities to give him a letter of recommendation for employment which he used to secure employment with the Electricity Corporation of Nigeria, ECN. He retired from ECN after many years of active service and became an importer of electrical goods with his own company which he named Shamawo Trading Company. His British partner so much loved him and respected him for his faithfulness and integrity to the extent that every goods he ordered for was accompanied with gift of complete suits, shoes, and other beautiful items. Family Life Papa was a family man to the core. He was a very responsible man who always rose up to his responsibilities.
he never joked with his children's school fees and educational materials as he always recanted the condition that made him drop out of school. According to him, meaning his school fees was paid while the educational materials were not bought and you must have the tool before you can stay in school. He was a disciplinarian to the call. Papa was not outgoing type, apart from the budget development league and church societies, he didn't belong to any social club. Papa and the church Papa was a member of the Jero Baptist Church and served in many communities as chairman and other posts. He was at one time the vice president of YMCA in Jero Baptist Church. Papa was friendly, full of wisdom always ready to assist and offer valuable advice to anyone that came his way. He preached love towards one another in fair shaitan, unconditional love. Papa was an actor on the world stage, played well his part and passed on to us his children, grandchildren and other family relations and friends legacies of integrity, truthfulness and love. He is survived by children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. May he so rest in bosom of God Almighty until resurrection morning. Amen.